Hi there, Chris Stanley from Tech Quarters. I'm going to talk to you about disaster recovery today. Actually, disaster recovery is a service. The interesting thing here is there's big changes in the world of DR and business continuity now. Some people don't understand the difference between business continuity and disaster recovery. Well, the simple fact is they're very, very closely aligned. Business continuity is if your email goes down, you want to be able to access your email via the web or using some cloud software, and you can access your email immediately. That keeps your business running if your email server crashes. However, what is disaster recovery? Well, disaster recovery is when a disaster happens. In other words, you can't get into your office. Perhaps there's snow all over the ground. Perhaps the servers have had water fallen all over them from the ceiling on another business office. Perhaps there's a fire in your building. The disasters occur. And that's when you really need the whole of your business to be operational within a number of hours accessing everything, not just one application, but the whole of their servers and all of their data. So, old school DR, what are we talking about? Well, old school DR used to be associated with these sun guard offices that had ghost offices and loads of desks and they used to provision these servers for you that were built exactly to your specification and they charge you this fee to have this office just sitting there doing an awful lot of nothing. Things have moved on. These used to be empty offices. They used to have servers on standby for you and charge you for all of that. There's a new way of doing things now. New style DR utilizes some really clever technology. What we have here is old server Pete. Instead of him being a sad face, he's actually smiling because he's getting replicated off-site to hosted disaster recovery servers in a hosted data center. So, and this is happening, it's mirroring. So it can either be happening real time or you can get it to happen a number of times a day. So all of your data, your applications, your servers, the way they are built, they're actually mirrored over to these virtual machines in a data center. And they're controlled by a controller server as well, just making sure that everything is nicely up to date. Uh, so, why would you use DR now? Why do you want a DR service? Well, it's simple. You can get business continuity on all of your applications, on all of your servers and data, and you can carry on running in that same state for months. So if you had a disaster in your office and it was completely wiped out, what you really want is to be able to switch, flick a switch, and the whole of your user base can access all of their old applications and data working from anywhere in the world. That is true disaster recovery. Uh, it's cost effective. Nowadays, actually Tech Quarters offers a really great new technology disaster recovery service, and we charge hundreds per month, not thousands. Gone are the days of the old server uh, SunGuard pricing mechanisms. Because of the new technology, you can get a proper disaster recovery as a service for a fraction of the old costs. Uh, why would you want to do this? Because there are a load of disasters happening, unfortunately, in the world at the moment. You only have to take what's happened in the last few weeks with the riots in London. I'm sorry to bring this up, people, but, you know, this is a disaster. This is real. It happens. So you need to be able to be operational within your business in the event of that happening. And finally, you want safety for your business. So, Tech Quarters offers, as I said, a disaster recovery as a service product based on the new technologies and how we do things. We can talk to you about that. Uh, if you'd like to give us a call and have a chat, we're on 0800 148 8001. Or you can email me on tellmemore at techquarters.com. Thanks for listening and uh, we look forward to speaking to you soon.